Welcome to our Antic channel. Today we're going to present you a video that'll bring you some light on energy storage. Indeed, the Dutch are shocking the world with their ocean batteries. With the world turning more and more to renewable energy, this news comes at the right time. How will this technology revolutionize the world of energy storage? How does it work? Let's get started. The Dutch startup Ocean Grazer has made the sensational announcement with a new generation of battery. This is the famous ocean battery, an invention that will provide a direct solution to the problem encountered by the current renewable energy. But before revealing how it works, let's go back to the context that led to this creation. We have different sources of energy. The oldest one, which was the household still used today, is fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are being blamed for global warming. Renewable energy is the solution found to reduce the emissions of greenhouse gases. However, the figures still show the reluctance they use them as a source of energy in everyday life. Did you know that renewable energy presents only 17% of the energy sources in the world? It is true that wind and solar energy occupy an important place, but this is still far from the 50% invested by the major powers. While most countries are debating which energy source to use and what type of storage is appropriate, Dutch startup Ocean Grazer has surprised the world with its technology. In fact, the company has already presented it at its big tech show in Las Vegas. Everyone thinks that the ocean battery is the long-awaited solution. The Netherlands has a large number of offshore wind farms. This is what the team led by Fritz Bellick, head of the Ocean Grazer, was been working on. The startup has developed a system that recovers surplus energy from wind farms. This makes it possible to supply the grid with energy even when the wind stops blowing. The system proposed by Ocean Grazer draws its origin from various existing technologies. To better understand how it works, let's discover the origin of the technologies used by the startup. The company uses pump storage systems already used in the hydroelectric power plant. This is the practice that allows the water to be stored and re-injected into the turbine. This allows the turbine to operate in a reversible manner. Their current product drives a pump for bringing the water from the lower level to the upper reservoir. The object is to increase the potential energy while storing it. To produce electricity, all that is needed is for the water in the upper reservoir to pass through the turbines. Ocean Grazer has coupled the system with a force already present in the ocean. This is hydrostatic pressure. In this system, there is no need to build a hydroelectric dam at the bottom of the water. For the ocean battery, the system uses huge underwater pockets. They're connected into the water tank installed at the lower level. Between the two devices is a turbine that allows the transformation of a hydraulic energy into electrical energy. The principle of operation of the battery is simple. When the turbine is in motion, it produces electrical energy. This energy is used to pump water from the lower reservoir to the upper underwater pockets. When the wind stops blowing and the turbine stops moving, the opposite effect occurs. The pressure difference pushes the water in the upper reservoir back into the lower reservoir through the turbine. And it is this phenomenon that will generate the electricity. In other words, the ocean battery allows wind energy to compensate for the varies of the weather. Homes can receive green electricity at any time and without interruption even when the wind is no longer blowing. Ocean Grazer is pushing the bar higher in renewable energy storage. This ocean battery has many advantages. The first is cost. Compared to the giant lithium-ion battery, these cost less. Moreover, its construction does not require rare materials. All you need is underwater pockets coupled with the turbine and you're done. The system also allows the water pressure to operate. From an illogical point of view, this technology is safe. In fact, an underwater installation is often criticized of risk of leakage and contamination of the marine environment. This seems to be true for the battery that uses the chemical process. But in this case, an ocean battery, the risk of contamination of the water flora and funon is almost nil. This gives it a valuable advantage over competing devices. Ocean battery manufacturers even offer energy source efficiencies of up to 80%. But most importantly, this system allows more multiple storage cycles. Manufacturers estimate that the life of such a project is more than 20 years. Based on its success, the startup has already set a timetable for its launch of the upcoming years. First of all, it plans to carry out a trial in the lake north of the Netherlands in, 20 in 2023. The deployment at sea will be in 2025. But while waiting for the big day, it should also be remembered that the Ocean Grazer is not the only company in the ocean battery production. Many companies have already looked at this problem in process very solutions. The company FLASC, for example, has already worked on this project. 
and has also proposed an almost similar system. The difference lies in the way the surplus energy is stored. This energy is used to pump water into the pressurized air compartment. When the Department of Electricity is high, the air is released into the turbine. This allows electricity to be generated and integrated into the grid. Other projects are also underway to find the way to counter an intimacy of renewable energy. However, there are still many roadblocks to development of the ocean battery. These include the environmental problem. The implementation of suction infrastructure cannot be done by any ocean floor. Studies must be carried out upstream before it can be carried out without risk to the underwater fauna and flora. We must find the best way to have a perfect balance between energy storage and environmental preservation. Fortunately, there is already a possible installation of ocean battery near existing offshore wind farms. But, building a new wind farm as well as an ocean battery takes time. Environmental procedures have to be respected. That's why Ocean Grazzler Ocean Battery Development is progressing very slowly. Researchers also face the problem of materials resistance for the underwater pockets. They must resist both the pressure at depth and corrosion. Even if most of these projects are not yet for tomorrow, it already shows the willingness of everyone to promote green energy. In the last few years, industries working in renewable energy have made huge progress. The problem of energy storage has been the center of debate ever since. With the ocean battery, we can already see a future without fossil fuels. This is a planetary challenge that requires the participation of all of us. The goal is to allow renewable energies to take the lead in the energy sources used in the world. We think that we already have the technologies that will allow us to achieve it. It is important to remember that the 20 years ago, everyone was still laughing about renewable energy projects. But faced with the danger of global warming, even the most reluctant have changed their opinion about it. Many countries are now trying to develop a better way to store renewable energy. That's it folks, our video is coming to an end. We hope you enjoyed the topic of the day and learned more about ocean batteries. That is a real revolution to the renewable energy storage. If you have any questions, feel free to write a comment and don't forget to share the video with your friends. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications to be informed of our next videos. Also, click on that little blue thumb right here to support our teams. Thank you and see you soon on ATEC.